Hey guys, Dino here. In today's video, we're going to be looking at 20 tips and tricks to become a pro. These are all tricks I use when I play, and I see a lot of other players do these things when they play. These will no doubt make you better at the game and therefore get you more wins. If that sounds good to you, let's get into it. Keybinds. Something that will significantly up your gameplay is to change the in-game keybinds. The ones that I recommend are the following. Changing your jump slash branch switch from your jump key to something else. It doesn't sound like a big change, but quite often while playing as a predator, you jump while in combat. And if there's a tree nearby, you'll start climbing it. Additionally, if you throw your combi stick and it hits a tree, it'll be a lot easier to go grab it if you change the keybind. Your gear and weapon slots. Changing your gear and weapon slots will make your life a lot easier while in combat. Instead of going into the gear wheel, you can get your desired weapon out a lot faster. I know I spent way too long trying to get this set up, because it's not very clear. Your weapon slots are your primary and secondary, and the gear slots are your, well, gear. Another thing that I recommend changing for the Predator players is to turn on the inverted flight mouse look. The smart disc is defaulted to inverted mouse look so it will be a lot easier to navigate if you turn it off. Cloaked Healing This may seem like a no-brainer for some people, but more often than I'd like to admit, I see predators not doing this. When you heal as the predator, while using the medic kit or eating a pig, you can turn invisible. This is super important because when you're healing, you're an easy target. Therefore, the same way you want to avoid healing close to an enemy, you should turn invisible. A bonus tip is to avoid eating pigs in water for the simple reason that water will deactivate your cloak. Something to keep in mind is that eating a pig and killing a pig does a lot of sound, so be careful if the fire team wants to jump on you. Crouching As the predator, you can become completely invisible if you are cloaked while crouching. This is a super good trick to use against the fire team, especially when they're trying to get their teammates back up. It's also very good with the bow, making you almost nigh on impossible to spot. You are not entirely invisible if you're crouch walking. You have to stay completely still for it to work. Spotting As the fire team, you can spot things like the predator, but you can also ping objects for your teammates. I recommend pinging any health and ammo crates that you find, in case one of your teammates really needs one. In addition, spotting them will ping them to your minimap, making it easier to find later on. Crates and HP Packs Most people don't know, but as the Predator, you can destroy the fire team's ammo crates and healing crates. For the ammo crates, you can only destroy them with your plasma canister, but for the rest of them, you can simply hit them with your wrist blades. This is super good because those are extremely useful things for the fire team. If you destroy them, they won't be able to heal and get their gear back. Leaping When traversing the map, avoid sprinting or using trees. They are much slower and make a lot of noise. Instead, try and leap as often as you can. It's the fastest way to move around and gives you much better mobility. It's also very good to shake off the fire team whilst in a fight. It's very hard for them to keep track of you if you're constantly leaping around them. As the fire team, this is very frustrating. Minimap The minimap is very important for multiple reasons. As the predator, when you kill pigs, they will show up on your minimap. So when you need to heal, you can just look at your minimap and you can easily find your previously killed pigs. Alarms When alarms go off, the game will spawn a lot more AIs around you, making it very difficult for the fire team to do their objectives and fight the predator. As the fire team, you want to break these whenever you see them. There are an average of 2-3 to three alarms per area. You will know you disarm them all when AIs no longer have the bell icon. But for the Predator, not many people know that you can actually set them off yourself. By walking in front of an AI, you can trigger them to set off the alarm. This is a handy trick to slow down the fire team and their objective rush. Controlling the fight As the Predator, you want to control the game as much as possible. An easy way to do this is to down the fire team member. When a fire team member is downed, his teammates will have to come and help him. Because of this, you can pin the fire team in one location, and quite honestly, bully them. Another way to control the fight is using bear traps. The bear trap is the second best gear item, after the healing kit, for the predator. By placing them down, you can trap the fire team and get easy damage off of them. When they are trapped, they cannot move, 
and have to get out of the trap. You can easily kill one or two fire team members by doing this. I especially like to place a lot of bear traps around the resupply location. So when the fire team spawn back in, they will all get trapped and you can easily down all of them and be very happy with yourself. Destroying the mask. As the fire team, try and shoot at the predator's mask as much as possible. The predator's mask has its own HP bar and it can get destroyed. If you can manage to destroy the predator's mask as the fire team, this will give you a massive advantage. When the predator loses its mask, it can no longer go in vision mode, it will lose its target isolation, it won't have any sound indicators, he loses his plasma caster lens, and finding pigs will become a literal nightmare. As a predator, be aware of your mask's HP. When it gets low, it will start letting out smoke. Mics. Predator hunting grounds allows players to talk to each other in game. This is super helpful as the fire team, especially if you're playing with randoms. If you're the predator though, you can actually use this as a way to find the fire team. Whenever you get close to the fire team, their mics will pop up on the top right corner. This only works if a player is talking, but quite often I run into people with open mics, and it really ruins the game for them. Plus, it can make for some funny interactions. Mining up. One of the most important mechanics of the game is mining up. As the fire team, you want to mud up as often as you can. Mudding up will make you a lot less visible to the predator. I recommend running up as soon as you get into the game. Something I think some people don't realize is that target isolation won't see you if you're mudded up. This is super handy because the predator will have a much harder time finding you and your team. Parrying. As the fire team, there aren't many things you can do when the predator is mealing you other than hope he doesn't quick claim you. But some people don't know you can actually parry the predator's attack. If you press your melee button and whilst the predator hits you with the melee weapon, you will parry his attack and it will stun the predator for a few seconds. This won't save you entirely, but it will delay the predator and give your teammates more time to deal damage. If you're lucky, the predator will run away and you'll be able to fight another day. Leap Smash One of the most annoying things to fight against as a predator can sometimes be building cameras. Thankfully, there are a few ways to counter this. When leaping, you have the option to let out an energy wave. This will deal a lot of damage to multiple people at once, and even goes through roofs. It is a risky play though, because doing this will use up all of your energy. Another option is to find a spot with good line of sight, and simply plasma the heck out of them. It deals splash damage, and actually deals a lot of damage. Honestly, as the fire team, camping buildings doesn't really ever go well, so just stick to the mission. Sound Indicators The Predator has different ways to find the fire team. The most commonly used one is target isolation, but my personal favorite is the sound indicators. In vision mode, your helmet will pick up noise around the map, and when the fire team shoots, or even AI, it will give you a sound indicator. This will give away the fire team's position 9 times out of 10, even if they're muttered up. I prefer using this to find the fire team because then I can keep my target isolation to find nearby pigs, which in my opinion, is a lot harder to find than the enemy. Stamina As most of you probably know, the predator has a stamina bar. Your stamina will get drained while running and leaping. Be aware of your stamina. You won't enjoy it when you're in a hairy situation and your predator refuses to leap, speaking with experience. But unlike the fire team, jumping does not drain your stamina. A good habit to get into is bunny hopping as the predator. A lot of pros do this to regen their stamina and stay topped off while moving around. Disarming the bomb. When you down the predator, the predator can activate his self-destruct. When this happens, the fryer team has two options, run or disarm the bomb. Disarming the bomb can be very daunting and hard for new players, and even veterans. My tip to disarming the bomb is to take note of the symbol you're trying to find, then start scrolling very fast through the symbols when you find it. When you find it, double check if it's the right one and move on. It's much faster this way instead of always going back and forth checking the two symbols. Something to keep in mind is that you only have time to run or disarm the bomb. Therefore, if you decide to disarm the bomb, go full out. There won't be enough time for you to run away anymore. Wait. The fire team members have different weapons. Each weapon has different weight. Some weapons weigh heavier than others, therefore slowing you down. 
I recommend everyone to be running around with knives whenever they move. I mean, of course, keep your guns out if the predator is there and you're killing the eye, but if you're traveling from place to place, the knife is the fastest weapon. Trees Trees are a big mechanic in predator hunting grounds. They can give great vantage points and ways out of fights, but it can also give your position away. My consensus on trees is to try to avoid them when sneaking around. When you use them, they make a ludicrous amount of noise, and it will give your position away. But on the other hand, I find trees a great place to heal. If there's one rule that I've learned across all games is that no one ever looks up. 9 times out of 10, if you heal in trees, you won't get spotted. I prefer healing this way sometimes because the fire team can't see your blood splatters on the ground, and you can keep an eye on your fire team. And the last tip is learn your perks. One of the biggest ways to get better at the game is to learn what each perk does and choose what you want to run. Learning what your perks do can help your gameplay because then you'll be able to play according to your build. For example, if you have Yauch's Bane, you might want to focus the Predator. If you have Double Time, you could use your environment to dodge the Predator's attack. I made a perk guide that covers the top 5 strongest perks in the game for both Predator and Fire Team. But there are also other videos who touch base on that. And those are my 20 tips and tricks to become a pro. Let me know what you guys think of these tips down below. Did I miss anything important? If you guys found the video helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I want to come up with more of these guys in the future. That's going to be it for today though, and I'll see you guys in the next video.